Warning. This article contains spoilers for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Despite the massive success the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been enjoying recently, Ant-Man and the Wasp has struggled to keep up with the box office, which makes the film a perfect candidate for the latest installment of Screen Rant's pitch meeting video series. After all, the sequel isn't even on pace to top its 2015 predecessor, Ant-Man, thus making it the lowest performing of Marvel's Phase 3. Does this film take place during the events of Avengers Infinity War? Does it take place before? It's quite difficult to tell. According to a last-minute after-credits scene, the answer is both. While the result is nothing but confusing for the viewer, this video playfully points out the storytelling convenience of simply ignoring all of Thanos' Infinity War destruction. Not to mention the obvious attempt to cash in on the in-universe connection in the after-credits scene. Related, Captain Marvel may be the key to Ant-Man and the Wasp's cliffhanger. The confusing timeline issues are just the beginning for this film as your screen rant. Ryan George points out the random addition of multiple characters that don't fit well in their own movie, let alone the MCU as a whole. Why exactly was Sonny Birch included in the script? So the epic car chases wouldn't have to have any real-world backlash. Of course, that should seemingly make the FBI rather redundant. But the heroes need a reason to rush home and hide their incessant breaking of Scott Lang's house. Arrest and what sorts of implications does the existence of Ghost bring up? Has she really been an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. the entire time? Finally. There is the issue of the mysterious buyer hoping to get their hands on the shrunk and PIM technology. Will this be a major villain in a future MCU film? Is this a returned villain we've seen in previous movies? None of that is explained and the audience never actually learns the identity of this conveniently. Mysterious character. George explains all this and more in the video above. Obviously. The science and magic are some of the most important aspects of a Marvel movie. It's what gives characters like Doctor Strange and the Hulk their uncanny abilities. But Ant-Man and the Wasp doesn't really bother to explain how the quantum realm works. Or even what it actually does. Time works differently. Superpowers are obtained. And people just keep getting trapped in there. But, as George points out, the actual mechanics of the realm as well as the rules of its existence, are never fully explained. Source. Screen Rant Tags. Ant-Man 2 Looking for an AD-free experience on Screen Rant.